Hi, I'm, my name's Guy Coppich. I'm Chief Executive of People's Voice Media. People's Voice Media is a community development organisation that uses social media for community engagement and supports people to have a voice, and that raises community and individual aspirations. Uh, we're doing lots of work with housing associations, in particular working with hard-to-reach hard groups, people who are disabled or out of work or unemployed or even younger people, people who are generally marginalised and excluded. We've put together a whole set of clips just to show you the sorts of things that we do. This is why I think it's good things like People's Voice Media that connects communities. Because they need a bit of hope, these kids. I know I sound like a preacher. <laughs> but they do need something that's not just making them doss every night out shops. There's something to talk about with this place being open. You know, when I see them in the street and that. Making, like, films and interviewing people, they're all excited. Which is why I think it's good about the internet access and that, with the project going on up on the shops, because the kids can voice their opinions and say when they're not happy and that. Instead, uh, they can go up there, have cups of tea, socialise. And it's interesting because it's where you live. How did I end up homeless? Well, I got divorced, I lost my job. One thing led to another, I ended up in debt. I got evicted from one house where I was living. We're a community development organisation that uses social media to give local people a voice uh, in order to challenge perspectives and also to raise their own individual aspirations. One of the ways we do this is support residents to undertake dialogue and have conversations inside different communities. Here are some great videos to show you the sorts of things that we've done with housing associations. The noise from that place is horrendous. You can't have your windows open, it's going boom, boom, boom. The service delivery process meant that we could actually use um, social media and use uh, People's Voice Media to work with the residents to do a letter. Um, but rather than traditionally having to write a letter and send it in, they were able to record it to camera and send it to our development officers who then could record a response. And they, in that way they could have a genuine dialogue. So we really used it as a both an engagement tool but also a consultation process to make sure that uh, resident views were taken into account, but also they were kept informed um, as the process went along. Some of the really innovative work that we've done recently is around skills training. So we work with local residents to raise their aspirations, improve their confidence and give them some really practical down-to-earth skills which will help them in employment and also into further education. It was really good to build up my experience for sort of future job prospects and I really enjoyed the fact that you can go out to meet people and uh, sort of, you know, build up my confidence by meeting different people. Um, well, I've been working here at Comptor as a community researcher, which means that I've been going out on the estate, uh, meeting and greeting residents and talking to them about issues that they might have and generally trying to collect um, subjective information that can help um, Comptor and the other organisations involved to basically help the residents. I feel like I've become more self-confident um, I have better technical understanding of some of the things. I'd recently finished university, but I'd found it really hard to get work because although I had the qualifications, um, I didn't really have much work experience. And a lot of the jobs I was applying for, they, uh, they were asking for experience. I'm gaining interviews, gaining um, video content. Um, that's been a totally, totally new thing for me, video editing and filming in the first place. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I'm going on to freelance work it, now, if it wasn't for PVM and the freelance job I'm about to do, even though it's all contour based, um, without PVM helping us by <laughs> giving us equipment to use, it just wouldn't happen. It's been exciting, enjoyable. I learn interviewing people, learning to edit films. Getting footage, uh, meeting new people, making new contacts for my future job. How to edit and produce short films. Uh, vox popping, going around Preston, talking to people on different uh, subjects. I've learned a lot of technical stuff that I didn't know. Um, I was trained about 25 years ago and I needed to know the new stuff and I've learned a lot of digital stuff on computers and I've learned how to use Macs and PCs in a much better way than I could. I've learned a lot of communication skills that I didn't have um, and interviewing skills especially and I found that kind of extends to your social and personal life as well. I'm more confident than I used to be. I think it's helped me immensely. Um, I'm going for a few job interviews now. Um, not, they're not in the media, but they're with people, and I've worked on my people skills a lot here. 
and hopefully the skills I've used here will be able to cross over into other areas. One of the really exciting pieces of work we've been working with with residents is around consultation and engagement. Community Reporters has proved to be a really effective model at engaging with residents to get their views and to get their perspectives on, on, on the way that they see things. Some really exciting and innovative content on this. Uh, more money <laughs> to go shopping to buy the healthy stuff. We are part of the Halfway Project. We are also skateboarders in the local area. We have some questions that we would like to ask you. Condor Housing Association send a quarterly magazine out to their residents. Our brief was to gather public opinions of Inside Magazine. Talk Broughton was a partnership project between People's Voice Media, Salford City Council, Contour Housing and Great Places Housing. The idea of the project was that we would train local people in how to use uh, social media tools so that they could go out into their own community in Higher Broughton to interview uh, other people in the area. We wanted to bore people with more surveys um, and we wanted to get a good response as well and something that was really real to the people in the area. We linked in with People's Voice Media um, so that we could run a community reporting project. It really is a personal way of gathering information. You really get to sort of the nitty gritty of what people's points of view are that perhaps they wouldn't feel comfortable writing on a form or wouldn't take the time to do. It was in a way that was innovative, allowed local people to gain new skills as well as actually capturing the research that would be really useful to us. I really hope you found the, the work that we've been doing with housing associations informative and useful. Please get in touch and we can explore ways that we can work with you. Music